Pinterest has been letting me know forever that I am capable of making a year's supply of laundry detergent with just like $40 worth of items. And today I finally decided to do it. So I started by shredding up the soap. This is like a laundry bar soap. They did recommend Zoat soap, but the Zoat wasn't available. So this is the one I have. This is what it looks like. It's not pink. I think it's called like Fells Naphtha. Um, yeah, but if you can't get Zoat, get it. If not, grab this one. It'll work just fine for you. Next, I came through with about four pounds of borax and I'm just pouring this right on top and it's so satisfying. Just look at that pouring right into a little mountain forest. Next up is this Arm & Hammer Super Washing Laundry Booster. I used the whole four pound, I think it's four pound box inside this bucket and I poured that right on top. Now we have four pounds of our pure baking soda. As you can see, I started trying to mix it a little bit just so the soap didn't stick to the bottom of my bucket. But I'm going to pour this whole box on out right on top too. Bow, OxyClean. I got five pounds of this and as you know, that's going right on top too. These Purex crystals are going to give us a nice little scent. So I chose two different ones that felt like would complement each other. So I poured both of those on top as well. So if it wasn't obvious, that bucket just was not going to cut it. So I poured everything from the bucket right into this storage container that I have. I got this storage container from Walmart. It's pretty old, so I don't even know if they have this exact same one anymore. But I'm just pouring everything from the bucket, making sure to scrape out that soap, that shredded soap that's trying to stick at the bottom of the bucket here. And just getting it all out because I don't want to waste any of the product. Now, I'm going to go ahead and be adding in the rest of that OxyClean because I wasn't able to fit it all into the bucket. And now it's time for the fun part. We're just going to take our hand and mix this all around. You can start seeing the colors start to incorporate and those blues and purples start to pop out into the white with the yellow. And I just thought it was so pretty. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and watch this part and then you'll see what it looks like. When everything's mixed up, this is what it's going to look like. I was having so much fun with it. It was like playing in sand. I was just like kind of letting it flow between my fingers. But yeah, this is what it's going to look like. If you have any questions, leave them down below for me. I'll be sure to tag all the products that I use in this. Catch you later.